Yeah, we've been playing Dark Souls lately. You need to get yourself some souls. Well, there's a few items in the game that can help you get more souls easier. The Silver Covetous Serpent Ring. This is before any new game. It gives you 10% more souls on every kill. The new game plus one will give you 20% more souls and the uh, new game plus plus, in other words your second new game, will give you 30% more souls. However, all the new game uh, plus rings and stuff spawn at specific locations, so you'll have to look it up where to find them. Since I haven't gone through the new game pluses, I wouldn't be able to tell you where they are. But it only goes up to plus two, I believe. Then you're going to want the Shield of Want, which will give you an additional 20% souls. So if you add those up, you should get 30%, but for some reason in Dark Souls, things don't seem to properly stack. And you get 32% instead of 30% more souls. Next, you want to get this stack. You get it from killing these enemies right here in the uh, Arch Dragon Peak. Pretty much. This is the best place to get it as well from the Great Belfry uh, checkpoint. I mean, that bomb fire checkpoint. Uh, you just repeatedly come, in, come over that bomb fire and then killing this guy. Definitely not recommended to use. Uh, with staff like I just did. You should definitely use sor uh, sorceries if, uh, you know, you're a mage, of course, but uh, if you're not, probably not a good idea, as you can see. You want it done quick because you don't want to just spawn the, uh, the ads. Kill this guy though, like he gives you a weapon called Richard's Rapier. I'm not sure if it's just when you kill him the first time or if it's just a rare drop from uh, that specific guy, but sometimes it spawns him, other times it spawns a Drake Blood Knight. But you definitely want to make sure you kill Havel before coming through here, because sometimes it summons Havel if you haven't already killed him. Anyway. Once you have all of those, this staff is also an extremely rare drop as well, so it helps to have a lot of item discovery. I recommend having at least 250 item discovery. At 250 item discovery, it took me 15 kills to do it. There's a couple ways to boost your item discovery. The Silver Covetous Serpent Wing will boost it by 50. Hmm. 49, it appears for me. I guess it rounds down. The New Game Plus variant will give you plus 75, and the New Game Plus Plus, aka plus 2 variant, will give you one plus 100. Then, uh, another way is to get the symbol of Adverus, which you get from killing mimics. This is also an extremely rare drop, but it boosts your item discovery by 100, and as you can see, it rounds down, so it only gives me 99. This also boosts the amount of souls you get by 50%, so if you have all of those equipped, you're getting more souls, and you're getting more item discovery. Provided you actually have this equipped, but pretty much item discovery is just for farming the rare items, of course. So if you if you wanted to get a staff, you would probably need that helmet, unless you already had other gear that boosts your luck. But as you can see, when you equip this, it actually drains your health slowly over time will actually drain your health by 10 health per second. It's not that 
that bad. See, as you can see, like when I killed him quickly like that, it uh, didn't allow that other guy to spawn. As you can see, he didn't drop anything. It took me 15 times to kill him before he actually dropped the staff. So it's probably going to take a, a little bit of, of grinding to get the staff, but once you do, you can get the maximum possible amount of souls per kill that you can actually get in the game, which is definitely good if you're a sorcerer. If you're not a sorcerer, however, you should probably start putting points into magic so that you can actually get more souls. Or, even if you don't feel like putting more points into magic, you can probably just keep the staff on you because it only weighs 2.5 pounds, so even if you're a warrior carrying heavy weapons, that's not really going to affect you that much. Just make sure you don't go over 100 weight. I don't recommend going over 70 weight either, but you know, some people do that anyway. Pretty hard to stay under 70 weight when wearing Havel's armor. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. So, uh, see you later.